I will continue with the levy phase of box 14. At first, I need to pay the Karelians for the Russians to have their box, their service marker move there, so they will not disband. And I'll do this with the Veshikwine, so I will spend one like this. So pay, and no one disbands. Now with the Teutonic Master, I got two Lordship with Hendrich, and I'm going to use one to try to master Rudolf, because his fealty is five, so he has more chances. So I'm going to try him as first, and he's ready, he's there. Yes. So I move his mat right here. There he goes. I put his service marker two boxes away. One, two, here. And he's got one knight, one sergeant, one man at arm. One knight, one sergeant, one man at arm. Put them here. And one transport, one provender. One provender. And the transport, yeah. I'll put his cylinder in any seat, but he's got only one, and I don't have the commandery, so he has to master here. And I think this transport is going to be a boat, because Rasputitsa is coming, so sleds and cars are going to be pretty useless soon. So one provender, and one boat. Boat and provender, like this. So that was his first lordship. The second one... Hmm, I think he's going to muster a little bit more forces, because he's got four ships already, and only two horses, so I can muster these. Yeah, I'm going to have one horse more and still carrying one provender, so I will be able to move this by sailing. So I put this two boxes away, one, two, I'll put it next to him, like that, okay, and that is one knight and one man at arm. And I put them right here. It's good to have a little bit more forces. On the Russian side, there is a lot of lords to muster to have their lordships because the five of them are in play so i put their stuff here at first there's alexander he's got four lord four lordships he's going to muster these because i got the crossbow and it's always good to have more men at arms with crossbows so three boxes away one two three it goes here and i take the men at arm Put it here, now I have five, so an odd number of men at arm, that will give three crossbow hits. hits, so that's very good. And then I will put three boats on his mat, because Rasputitsa is coming. I'm not going to muster Andre. Even though he's ready, I still prefer to delay him to have a little bit more victory points that way. For Vladislav, he's going to get the raider. Raider's capability. I'm going to put this here and that could be useful once I play around here to go to Ravage and gain even more victory points this way. So this is one Lordship. One, two, three, four, five. I still have one so I'm going to take the Militia. And I put this one here. So I put one more militia for Vladislav. He's got six units now. Domash has two lordships. And it's time to get four more militias with it. So these were the vassals on his mat. And I put them two boxes away. One, two, here. That's a lot of service markers. That's interesting. And that gives 
four militias to the lash. One, two. Yep. One, two, and three, four. Like that. So that's seven already. Yeah, these three times two, six plus the one of his own. With the archery, Luchniki, that will be very good. Gavrilo gets three lordships. He's gonna get a boat. And then the Strelski, because why not? He's got two men at arms. And the Lodia capability, which gives that he may use his boats as two boats each, or use up to two ships as boats, or boats as the other. So he has two boats, but it's just as if he's got four. That will be useful for the next Rasputitsa to move around this river here. And then the Karelians, I just paid them, so they are still in play. They are going to get this, uh, this card, the Black Sea Trade, just in provision for next time, even though I don't have ships. But this could be used as ships, but it's still not more than the number of ships on the Teutonic side. Okay, now it's called to arms. I take William of Modena, put him here, to Automaster Andreas. So I don't have to roll a filthy roll, which is only two. I don't have to do that, so it's much better to master him this way. And I put him here. His service marker goes there. One, two, three, that's the farthest he can go. And he's got one knight, one man at arm, two sergeants. One knight, one man at arm, and two sergeants. Like this. Okay, two transports and two provenders. And since I'm going to put his Silender in this seat, he could use boats and go join this way, but that is going to be limited. Yeah, pretty limited. Mm -hmm. Is that enough troops together? to beat Alexander and Vladislav. I think not, not yet. I think I'm better to go this way and um, he's going to command Andrich because Andrich doesn't have enough command action anyway so he's going to need Andreas' help to, um, to march, to be his marshal. Yeah, so he's going to get two ships. Oh, that's four. Two ships. Okay. Let's take these. So one and one and two provender. Okay. Now his cylinder is there. And as I said, he's going to sail this way uh, at the next Rasputitsa. So that was Call to Arms on the Teutonic side, next on the Russian side. I just delay Andrei's arrival. I put his side under here, that gives one more victory point. I put the victory marker of the Russian there. And because of the Black Sea, I take this back to four coins. And that is the end of the levy phase.